scientific method. Yes. He has to pass it. Yeah. Okay. So we said it's observable. Yeah. We have to see it. Yeah. Can you give me? Because it has to be repeatable as well, and not just once. Do you believe in the scientific method? Yes, it's it. Yeah, you? tangible one, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, there's two types of science. There is yes. hardcore science, yeah. and there is a science which is based upon assumption. One of them is Darwin evolution. So my point here is that, can you give me a living example when we have observed one species evolve to completely different species? Yes, your dogs. Huh? Dogs. Evolve to what? Dogs, like like you. I That's have, not evolution. I have yes. Schnauzer. That's not evolution. A Great Dane. That's still dog. It's still dog. It's still a dog, and it's still okay, so, 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 still so, so, breed. So you're saying species instead yeah. of species, like. Because I want evolution. Okay. We came from what? If we go back, go back. We come from what? We can even go back to fish. So 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 did so, so, so did God create? No no before God schnauzers. before I'm just showing you what did but did, did, did he? Before 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 God created everything. Okay. So so he but, created wait, the little wait, chihuahuas. Wait wait. And he created the Great Dane. Just, just, why? Why would he do that? No, no, no. no, no wait, wait, wait. What I'm saying to you, look, let's be honest, yeah? yeah? What I'm saying to you, the proofs that the science are claiming to have, for example, fossils. Fossils is not proof. Yes. Fossils is an explanation. For example, if us as a group, we go to Africa, or we go to Germany or England, and we start digging, digging, yeah. digging, yeah, yeah. and we found an uh, old fossil, of, like the arm of a dog. Yes, and we fold. We start digging more. We found a body of a, a, a big rabbit, Canadian rabbit. So Canadian is big. Canadian so what, yeah, yeah. Have you seen them? No. I'll show you a picture okay, after. No, no, Some yeah, big one. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I so what I can do? No, no, before the recording. Oh, yeah. What I can do? What I can put it together? And I say, you know what? Look, there were species. That species evolved from the other species. But this is my own explanation. Did you know that dinosaur, the way it looks? Yeah. It doesn't look like that in reality. Yeah. We put it up together like that. All oh, right. Did you know uh, that or not? Uh, what did what did what did what did the Quran say about dinosaurs? No, no. Before that, did you know that? <laughs> oh, yeah, was that did the, you the, know the, that, that the way that, dinosaur that, looks? That, 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 that we we. Do so you mean like we, Jurassic Park? That's, it has like the, the great yeah. Skin. We put it together. That's yeah, what we, we for. Yes. Yeah, understand? Yeah. yeah. But did you know many people don't know that? Many people think that the way the way that the dinosaur is when you go to museum, museum uh, scientific uh, science museum or uh, history museum, if you go, they think that's how dinosaur looks. No, we made it up based upon our imagination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my point here, go back. There's no proofs for that winning evolution whatsoever. Do you know one of the scientists said? Sorry, is yeah. an atheist. He said the reason we focus on that winning evolution because it's the only tool that we can utilize to turn away from God. So because they're not so, by accepting so we, God, we, they have to submit to him. But, but, but can, I, can, I just ask, can I just ask, if you need proof and evidence for you to believe in evolution, why don't you need proof or evidence for you to believe in God? Everything like, that like, you, you said that there's nothing that will ever change. Yeah, because why, everything that exists so, is a, so, so. So why why even talk about science? Like, no, because talk about the scientific method mm. if it will never ever influence how you think about the most important thing in your life. No, as like I said to you and I, we are a proof for God's existence. But, but you, just, you said you don't need proof. You said that you will never ever change your belief. At yeah, all. because because we're naturally born to believe in God. Yes. Prophet Muhammad said that. Yeah. Even there was a the, uh, there was a study in Oxford was done. Yeah. They took children from different parts of the world. But sorry, but we have to you, don't, you don't need studies. No, no, no. I, I never said that. I said there's two types of science. So, so sorry, no. if, if there was a study wait, 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 that wait. would prove... You're going, you know like what you're doing? It's like you're going after a rabbit from one holy ghost to another hole. Yeah. From all, you're going to end up going to China. Yeah, no, yeah. Step okay, by step. Like a Canadian rabbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Canadian rabbit is too big to go through a hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So be like the Canadian rabbit. You can't go through a hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. My point here is um, there's two types of science. There's a hardcore science. Yes. can be observable, reputable. We can see it. Yes. And there is assumption science, for example, the universe existed 14 billion years ago. Yeah, we cannot prove in, in we, we cannot prove that whatsoever. These just uh, theories. You, can't you prove cannot it. prove it. You can't just 14. theories. Yeah, 14 billion years ago we can't prove that. That's a theory. So okay. They come up with the number? You tell me, science are known to make up things. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, especially cosmologists. So hardcore science, we can see it. Yeah. You know, we can observe it. From that, they took children from different parts of the world and they done study for three years. They come to conclusion, children, if you leave them naturally, they were born, they grew up believing there is God. Who said that Prophet Muhammad 1,400 years ago? Alayhi salatu wasalam. He said every person, uh, every newborn is born with a natural inclination.
Yes. We mean fitrah, which means naturally you believe there is a creator. But when the fitrah, when natural inclination is corrupted, yeah. then the prophets and the messengers, they start using a sound reasoning argument yeah. to prove God's existence, for example, the observable creation. Yeah. You understand? So in the Quran, there is observable arguments yeah. to show God's existence. But before that, the natural inclination argument, mm. naturally, also there is psychological argument, which is deep down, when you look onto this universe, we know there's a creator and we know we're going to die and we're going to stand before the creator. And this life is a test. Like regardless how smart we're going to try to sound or any argument we're going to utilize to reject God, you have to know for a fact that you're going to die. Yeah. And the one who created you and created everything will bring you back to life. And Allah gives the example of barren land. Yeah. The land that is barren, then Allah send down the water and it brings it back to life. Okay. Likewise, so, Allah will bring you back to uh, life. Uh, one more point because I'm really tired. I have to go to bed. How? Uh, I'll be speaking more than you. I know, yeah, I know, I know. I, you're doing you need to become work. Algerian. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need that strength. Where are you from? Where are you from? What country? Ireland. Ireland. Ireland yeah. uh, uh, where? Because I went to Ireland as well. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I, I'm living in Dublin. Uh, I, I like Dublin. I went there as well. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Maybe when they see me Muslim, they treat me nice, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, as a guest. Mohammed, Mohdin wants to speak to you. No, no, I It's Marid, Habibi. Hey, da, he's serious, hey, da. Mohdin. Yeah, mashallah. I should have said, Allah, mashallah. So, what I'm saying to you, uh, yeah, go on, you want to say something. I just want to finish the last point. You were, you were using that evidence of the, um, the kids, that study that showed the kids inherently believe in God before the age of five. Yeah, before. Does, yeah. does that help legitimize the Quran? Yeah, it helps legitimize the Quran. But, but, but because the Quran Allah said, Fitrat Allah alati fatar al nasa alayha. لا تبدي لخلق الله. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. No, no. As I told you, there's a hardcore science observable. Yes. That is not. I'm not talking about because I'm not. I don't reject science. I there's two types of science. The science that I do reject, and skepticism that I do reject. Skepticism when you start questioning that which is not by necessity, and the science that I do reject. The science is based purely no assumption, no rationality. Just assumption. We just guesswork. Like you know, universe has a beginning. How Big Bang? Are you sure? We, we, we guess. As yeah. Allah said, they have no certainty. You understand? Yeah. So my point is, I'm going to repeat I, again. I, I missed that verse. <laughs> huh? I never read that verse. Myself. Yeah, that's in Surah Al-Tur. Allah said in the Quran, Am khuliqu min ghayri shay'in am humul khaliqun. Would they create by nothing? Or did they create themselves? By the way, Allah is not asking a question. Allah is rebuking anyone think that this beautiful creation has no creator. Rhetorical. Rhetorical question. Then Allah said, Am khalaqu samawati wal ard. Or did they create the heavens and the earth? If you never create yourself, and you never create the sky and the earth, what is left? You must have a creator. You know what Allah said? They have no certainty. I was speaking to a scientist from Spain. Sorry for taking long. I was speaking to a scientist from Spain. That was 10 years ago. I didn't even have this knowledge that I have now, which is a little, still little. Yeah. And he was speaking for long, yeah. for long. Then I said to him, okay, goes back to, he said, goes back to singularity. I said, who created that singularity? He said, we don't know, we're not sure. I said, you have summarized what Allah mentioned in the Quran, you have no certainty. Brilliant. That's a powerful verse, how Allah knows about this stuff. So what I'm saying to you, look, you know, imagine you're in a house and you, there's, imagine in a house, yeah? <laughs> And there's a fire everywhere. Yeah. And you try your best to save yourself. But you couldn't, you gave up. I came and I saved your life. What would you say to me at least? Thank you. Would you remember me all the time? Always. Okay. I'll, I'm gonna remember you forever. Okay, why don't you remember and say thank to the one who gave your life for free? You gave me my life for free? No, the one who gave it to you for free. The creator is not your parents, as we have established. The creator gave it to you. See, I just don't agree with you that it was my So parents. who gave you life? You know what, you're going to have to write this down and send it to me because I'm fucking on uh, Well done, well done, yeah, okay, thank man. you very much. Thank what you. I would say to you, go back and listen to the video and our channel is Das Dawa. You can watch it, but it's going to be uploaded in YouTube. I'm not in it, am I? No, they will blur you, inshallah. But yeah, you know, before yeah, it's too late. Yeah. You lie. my accent as well, I don't want to hear it. No, before, <laughs> before it's too late, you know, yeah, seriously. Thank you very much. Take thank care of it, look after yourself. Well done, Take care, everybody. You know, subhanallah, amin, amin. What I was going to mention, what's happening now, the, 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 the atheist, oh, they try to utilize any argument to reject God. Even though deep down they know it's falsehood. And this is what's happening now. You know, God's existence is the most obvious. And that which we are born with it. So the prophets and messengers came to 
address the fitra, natural inclination. But when the fitra is corrupted, they start using observable evidence and logical evidence. I'm not talking the logical evidence, which is based upon the philosophy that was invented by philosophers. No, I'm talking about logical uh, uh, evidence, which the creator create us with natural. Like a child, if he, if, if a child that is five months old and someone hits him in the back, the child will start looking for who did it. You know, he knows if something's gonna happen and it not happen, someone did it. But who told him that? Likewise, if a child see his doll in one side of the room, he will not start looking for the same doll in a different room. Because he knows one doll cannot exist in a different place at the same time. He doesn't have to st study law of non-contradiction. Something is well rooted within us, you know? So that's why in the Quran, Allah utilized rational arguments. And before that, argument that is based upon the fitra, rational arguments, sound rational arguments, and the argument which is observable, Likewise, the psychological argument, Allah threatened the people with a fire that you will meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they know deep down because what you have to understand, Allah threatened the kuffar of Quraysh with a fire even though the kuffar of Quraysh doesn't even believe in the day of judgment but deep down they believe, you know, subhanallah, he was looking, Allah guide him but you know the most obvious thing you are rejecting, What's up? that's why they do, they threw out big words, you know, but if you, you know, uh, pin that, pin them down. They have no answer. Everything is just a guesswork. Okay, mashallah. Yeah. لا هذه عندما تقول الله مغفر لي بجاه علي اي يعني انت تقول هذا شرك احنا لا 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 هذا لا لا هذا ليس شرك هذا بدعه لا الشرك عندما تقول يا علي قل الله يغفر لي اكو حديث او علي المدد هذا الشرك اكو حديث صحيح مسلم البخاري yeah. قال ان عمر بن الخطاب قال الهي عليك بالنبي وعم النبي لا 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 ما يصير لا لا هذه الحديث تجد حديث يا اخي هذا الحديث اسمع حديث النبي عليه الصلاه والسلام حديث حجه لي ليس حجه لك لا انت حديث اسمع 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 عبد الله اسمع 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 النبي عليه الصلاه عمر بن الخطاب قال يا الله كنا نتوسل بالنبي عليه الصلاه والسلام لانه كان حي فالنبي تذكر كان في المدينه فاسمع بس دقيقه بس دقيقه حدثنا الحسن بن محمد قال حدثنا عبد الله الانصاري قال حدثنا ابي عبد الله ابن مثنى عن تمام بن عبد الله ابن انس عن انس ابن مالك ان عمر بن الخطاب كان اذا قحطوا استقى بالعباس بن عبد المطلب فقال الهي كنا نتوسل اليك بنبينا فاسقينا يا نعم فكان اسمع لا 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 اسمع 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 لا اسمع هذا الحديث ايوه فقال يا عبد هذا الحديث ليس كله قال يا عب يا عباس قف قم وصلي بنا قم وصلي بنا فالعباس كان موجود حي فاذا كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم اذا كان يتوسل بالنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بعد موته فلماذا عمر بن الخطاب يتكلم مع العباس ويترك الرسول عليه الصلاه والسلام في المدينه جنبه لاجل ذلك انا قلت شروط عندما تتوسل لان التوسل يكون بالدعاء بالعمل الصالح نعم كما توسل ابناء يوسف بابيهم يعقوب ان يدعو الله لهم والتوسل بالعمل الصالح قالوا ربنا امنا فاغفر لنا كذا اما التوسل بالم... والتوسل باسماء الله الحسنى اسمع لي اسمع لي اسمع لي اما التوسل بالميت هذا الشرك بالله لا يجوز الميت امام علي وميت ولا تحسب الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله بالاحياء عند ربهم يرزقون ليس يرزقون يرزقون ايوه انا وياك خلاص يا خلاص ما ميت خلاص لا لا م... ليس حي هو ميت في قبره هو حي في قبره لكن في البرزخ هذه حياه برزخيه ليس في الدنيا لان يعقوب اسمع النبي اسمع اسمع عبد الله اسمع يا الهي الهي عليك بان هسه هذا حديثك انت تقول لي هذا الحديث لكن عباس كان حي كان شلون كان يا اخي الحديث يمه حديث الحديث هذا الحديث الحديث هذا لكن عباس كان حي قال يا عباس اسمع اسمع انا اسمع عمر بن الخطاب 